last intro sequence on vectors is we'll just look at we, you know, the previous one we looked at products between two vectors. Next we'll look at what we call vector triple products when we have uh, operations where we're multiplying three vectors together com using combinations of scalar, multiplication, dot products, and cross products. So the first one that we can look at is when we have, so let's imagine that we have three vectors now, A, B, and C. Uh, the first type of triple product we'll look at is when we have A dot B. So this is a dot product between A and B and multiplied by the third vector C. Well, we know that the dot product of any two vectors is just going to be a scalar. Right, so this type of triple product actually just reduces to scalar multiplication, the first type of product that we looked at. So I can say equals some alpha with subscripts a, b, where alpha a, b is equal to a dot b, and then scalar multiplication of that with the vector c. So that one's pretty straightforward. So that's just a dot product multiply of two vectors multiplied by a third vector. It's the first type of vector triple product. The next one we'll look at is when we have a vector a, and we dot that with the cross product between b and c. Okay, so I'm saying a dotted with b cross c. So the first thing we can do is relate this to our understanding of cross products and the directions. So this one here is going to be equal to anytime these three vectors are in the same order, it will give the same result. So that's the same as B dotted with C cross A, and that's the same as C dotted with A cross B. Those will all give the same result because the three vectors are in the same order. So I have A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So it's the same order. If I change the order of any of those vectors, so now I'll just sort of write out A, B, and C. And now I'm going to sort of write them in the different order. So, so if I have A first, then the same order here would be A, B, C. So if I flip the second two vectors and instead I say C cross B, that one is going to be the negative of the original one. So all of these three that I'll write here will actually be the negative of the first type. So now I, if I have B here, so C comes after B in the order. So now in this one, I'll put C last and A second, so B, A, C. Now if I have C, if I were to get the same result, I would have to have A right here. So I'll put A as the last one and B as the second one. So you can see in all of these it's going A, C, B, A, C, B, A, C, B. So these three will be the negative of the first one. Going back to our definition based on determinants, can write out this result, which is actually a scalar. So if you see here, I, this is going to produce a vector, and then the dot product of a vector a with this vector here will produce a scalar result. So I can calculate the result of this operation. 
by putting the first vector in the first row of the determinant, the second vector in the second row, and the third vector in the third row. So A across the top, B in the middle, and C on the bottom. And if you recall properties of determinants, then you'll remember that if you switch the order of any two rows in a determinant, you flip the sign of the determinant. So that's another way of understanding these relationships right here. So that's the second type of vector triple product. So I'll just write that. This one here is number one. This one here is number two. And then maybe over here I'll write the third type, which is going to be a cross B cross C. So this one has all cross products. The first one had a dot product multiplied by a vector. The second one had a dot product with a cross product. And this one is a cross product with a cross product. And it turns out that if you work out this operation here, you can actually express it as a combination of two type uh, products of this type. So it's going to be A dot C times B minus A dot B times C. So it's just another way of writing the same thing. And sometimes if we have that sort of a triple product in a in a geophysical theory, this form might be easier to work with than this form. So these are just three types of what we call vector. Just write that down for reference vector. Triple products. Okay, so this concludes our intro sequence on vectors and products between vectors. In our next video, M2, we'll start to look at uh, operations on vectors that involve derivatives, so things like gradient, divergence, and so on. So that's going to be in the M2 video. Thank you.